Hi everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back. Today I'm wanting to show you how to prepare uh, your tumbler before you go ahead and um, do the design. So this should be a quick video um, and let's go ahead and get started. So I am working today with just a 30 ounce Ozark trail and I'm gonna remove the lid. Um, what I do is I have a, actually it's the green thing behind me up here. I have a crate and I put all my lids in the crate all in one spot so I never lose these lids. Then what you want to do is you want to obviously peel off the, the um, logo or the paper around the tumbler. And this is for this, um, this brand. Some tumblers, they don't have logos around the, the tumbler. They have them on the bottom so make sure you do uh, peel that off. It's a little hard with gloves, so I'm gonna just take my X-Acto knife and just tear it off there and then peel it. Or not. <laughs> All right, here we are. So you just wanna take off any, um, any paper and you're just gonna throw that away. So you're gonna have this sticker or this adhesive left on the tumbler. And how you get this off, it's actually a couple of ways. Um, sometimes if, there, if there's only a little bit on here, um, you could just rub it off with your finger and it starts to come off. Um, or you can use 91% alcohol. I do put this in a little makeup squirt bottle. You can use 91% alcohol and you drench the, the adhesive sticker and then you kind of you take either a rag or a paper towel and you rub against it and um, you're gonna have like a little bit of it off and then you're gonna take in a razor blade. Um, I'm sure you could take an X-Acto knife but I always use a razor blade and just razor blade it off. Since you're gonna be making a design on this tumbler, since you're gonna be making a design on this tumbler, it does not matter if you scrape the tumbler at all. So that's the good thing about um, getting these cups prepared. Let me get closer for you. That's the good thing about getting these cups prepared, uh, taking the stickers off. You don't have to worry about scraping the tumbler because you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to see it. Obviously, you don't want to dent the tumbler, but a little bit of scrapes, um, it's fine. Now you do want to make sure that the stickiness is not there anymore so you do want to make sure that is gone so i'm just going ahead with my razor blade i'm going from top to bottom sorry i'm trying to get this on camera or i'll do bottom to top and i'm just going over it very very well to make sure the sticky is not sticky anymore so i'm going to spray it with 91 percent alcohol again And then I'm just gonna rub off the adhesive. And sometimes you get lucky. It's like the little things in life. Sometimes you get lucky and you go to peel off the logo or the paper around it and it's just a clean peel and you're like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Um, that doesn't happen too often, but when it does, my day is made. So this is all cleaned off. The sticker is off. There's no adhesive on the bottom. Make sure you always check the bottom of the tumblers. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna spray with 91% alcohol. 91% alcohol takes off all of the oils um, from your hands or anyone else's hands that's touched the tumbler. It just gives it a clean surface so when you go to the next step, um, it adheres to the tumbler more. So you just wipe around the tumbler with 91% alcohol and it should dry very quickly. And once it's dried, uh, I typically have this on my football it's a lot easier for me. So I don't have to touch the tumbler anymore. It's very important not to touch the tumbler after you've completed this step. And once you have done the 91% alcohol, you take your spray paint and preferably matte or satin. The reason for matte or satin is whenever you go to apply your epoxy, it will not leave fish eyes. Fish eyes is whenever the epoxy lays on the tumbler and it separates and you have uh, circles inside your tumbler. So you have spots and aren't, you have spots on your tumbler where the epoxy um, does not stick. 
and that's due to not prepping your cut properly or um, using sometimes using gloss. I'm sorry I got cut off uh, as I was saying sometimes using gloss so make sure that this is uh, a matte white or not white I'm sorry make sure it is a matte sometimes if I'm doing like blue glitter I'll use a blue matte you see all the spray paints I have above here uh, not all of them are um, are matte some of them are satin so again using the matte or the satin um, it helps the epoxy stick on the entire tumbler. There's nothing more aggravating than um, putting epoxy around the tumbler and you see all these uh, blank spaces or these fish eyes with the uh, uh, epoxy just spreading out and making a hole. Then you have to make another batch of epoxy and redo um, the tumbler. And you just want to avoid that step altogether by prepping your tumbler properly. Now, a lot of people, um, sometimes I do do this and sometimes I don't, a lot of people actually sand their tumblers. Um, I don't find it necessary because I hardly sand my tumblers when I prep them and I don't get too many fish eyes. Um, actually, I don't get any fish eyes. Um, so the only time I do sand my tumbler if I'm working with, let me show you here. This is actually a 20 ounce built. This is a built brand from Walmart and it has a kind of a different feel um, than the regular stainless steel uh, tumbler. So with this tumbler, I do sand and I do the sanding before I do um, the alcohol. So with this one, what I would do is I would take my, um, I think this is 160. I'm going to remove my lid. For this one, I would take my 160 grit or even 200 grits uh, sandpaper. And I bought this from Walmart. I love, it's so easy to just grab and then they sell, um, excuse me they sell sticky it like sticks to sandpaper or not sticks i'm sorry it, it velcros um it velcros onto the sandpaper and you can even buy other velcro um brand and just cut it down so i love this again this was at walmart so this is i believe this is 180 or 200 grit sandpaper and all i do is i sand my tumbler and again you have to get the bottom <laughs> don't forget the bottom I'll do that off camera uh, just to save a little bit of time. So make sure, and actually it's funny because you can't see, but there's a, there it is. There's a spot there that somebody's grabbed this tumbler, like uh, either their hands are very oily or if it was me, but they grabbed right there and I'm, I think you can see it. So there's a lot of oils on this tumbler from people's hands and um, just everybody touching it that will not allow the epoxy to stick properly. So make sure you do sand your tumbler um, if it's like this, or at least put that 91% alcohol in there to clean everything. Um, and then if you feel, the way I think about this is like an apple. So everybody goes to the store or they buy the apples at Walmart or you know any other store um, and they have that wax over it. And they recommend you cleaning the apple, you know, boiling water or a hot water and, um, and uh, what is it vinegar white vinegar they recommend you taking all the wax and the oil off of the off of the apple this is the same way you want to take all the wax all the oils um, anything that that might not be good for the epoxy and take it off of the tumblers so you see how there's scratches on here that does not matter because after I do this I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it with my Krylon um, matte white spray paint and again you can spray paint this any color depending on on your design um, i always go with the matte white and then this is i believe it's a this is paint and primer so it's it's very uh it's very good for this use all right so if you guys have any questions please leave me a comment um in the comments uh, section and i will go ahead and respond I do thank you for joining this video. I hope this helped. I will be posting once a week for tumblers and crafts, so please stay tuned. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.